Ultimate Weapon is a new perk introduced in the Alien DLC as part of the Xenomorph's Teachables, but its spotlight was completely taken by Rapid Brutality. However, in my personal opinion, and after using it in a lot of builds, Ultimate Weapon is one of the most insane perks that have been recently released for killers. Just in case you are not aware of what this perk does, it's pretty simple. Once you open a locker, the perk activates for 30 seconds, and any survivor that enters your third radius will scream, revealing their location, and also, they will be inflicted with blindness for 30 seconds. This perk, once finished, will enter a cooldown of 30 seconds. On paper, this perk might not sound that insane. After all, blindness is one of the most useless status effects, and there are already plenty of aura reading perks like Lethal Pursuer. So what makes this perk special? Well, there are a lot of factors that make this perk amazing. The first of them being the fact that, unlike many of the other perks in the game, the activate condition of this one is on command. For a lot of aura reading perks, you need to activate a certain condition in order to trigger it. Barbecue requires you to hook and for survivors to be far away. Awakened awareness only works while you're carrying someone. I'm all ears has a long cooldown and it depends on survivors' actions. However, with Ultimate Weapon, the moment you open a locker, you will activate the screaming on command. It's like having the Doctor Static Blast on any character you need. This makes this perk, in my personal opinion, significantly better than Darkness Revealed, a perk with a similar activation condition that I thought had a lot of potential in the past. The next amazing part about this perk is the fact that it's not an Aura Reveal perk, it's a screaming perk. And that means that anytime a survivor screams, their actions will be reset or interrupted. So if you combine this with a hex build, you can interrupt survivors cleansing your totems from far away, or you can trigger Deathman switch for those pesky survivors that know the counter. Best of all, since this is a screaming perk, it completely counters Distortion, a low-key very good perk that a lot of survivors started running lately or at least any time I am using Lethal Pursuer. So, in order to completely prevent Ultimate Weapon from triggering, they would need to run Calm Spirit, which is a hard counter that prevents the screaming from happening. And finally, something that a lot of players overlook is the blindness status effect. This perk would already be amazing just with the screaming, but Behavior decided to add a freebie to this perk just like they did with Enduring for Made for This. Blindness is indeed one of the weakest status effects in the game, due to survive with friends completely countering it with Discord. But let's take a look at the meta of survivors. What is the most popular and by far the most run perk in the entire game? Windows of Opportunity. With just one perk, with an extremely easy activate condition, you're able to trigger a perk effect that will counter the most used perk in the game by far. This is a direct counter to Windows of Opportunity as you will deactivate this perk when survivors need it the most if you decide to capitalize on the information and chase them. And that's not even talking about other aura reading perks that are popular, like Kindred for solo survivors or Bond, Empathy and Deja Vu, which are perks that are popular in lower MMR. In low MMR, this perk is also a direct counter for those survivors that play immersed because they are still either scared of the killer or have no idea how to loop yet. The value of forcing survivors to act whether they want to or not is insane. With how easy it is to activate, you can hook a survivor, trigger ultimate weapon, and now not only do you confirm whether there is a sneaky survivor hiding somewhere to quick save, but also you are forcing one survivor to start a chase with you. In a way, this perk is potentially better than Awakened Awareness, since they both fit the same end goal. But unlike the latter, Ultimate Weapon has various uses, like replacing Lethal Pursuer at the start. And if you are in an endgame situation, Ultimate Weapon will ping the location of the survivor with basically no counter, just like a no way out would when closing the hatch. That's some of the effects just one perk has compared to the rest. And the best part, by far in my opinion, is that Ultimate Weapon is a well-designed perk that is not too overpowered nor damaging for the health of the game. And this is because unlike a lot of perks that have been meta, Ultimate Weapon has a lot of counters for survivors. First of all, 
The activate condition for killers can be a double-edged sword. While you can activate it whenever you want, you still need to interact with a locker first. This means that if you get a bad map like the swamp, with lockers that are lacking in a lot of places, you will not activate this perk as much. This is more of a problem with map design rather than the perk itself, but it's still a downside even with perfect map design, as the rest of aura reading perks activate while playing passively or active, or in more important moments. But most importantly, one very strong factor that aura reading perks have is that survivors potentially don't know that you can see their aura unless they run distortion, and that's why this perk is amazing, because a survivor with knowledge will be able to know what perks the killer is running and slowly complete their build in order to prevent surprises. But with Ultimate Weapon, every survivor knows that you are running it, and also, they know that you saw them screaming, so they can start running early in order to prevent it, and if those survivors want to enter a chase, well, this perk will not help much, since they will probably be running the most flashy Nia or Claudette skin possible. And if you are like me and depend on windows of opportunity in order to chain loops, you can still play well for 30 seconds in order to wait for the blindness to go away. So for every single positive this perk has, it also has negatives that counter it, two of them coming directly from the survivor's side. And finally, let's talk about an evident thing too. Since the perk only works on terror radius, this means that killers with unconventional radius cannot use it that well. But for those that do, and also have amazing mobility like the Nurse or Blight, this perk is insane. Wesker is able to use Ultimate Weapon in a very good way. Since he has insane speed and map mobility thanks to his power, and a really big terror radius, you can combine Ultimate Weapon with Deadman Switch and force survivors out of generators. And if you combine this with Distressing, your radius becomes even bigger. This is a really annoying build that's only counter is to scream and stop doing a generator before starting working on one. So as long as you keep hooking survivors, you will make them waste a lot of time. The pig is another killer that can surprisingly use this perk quite well if you know what you're doing, as ultimate weapon forces survivors to scream, which interrupts their actions, and this means survivors have to start from scratch. Honestly, this is one of the most disgusting pig builds I have seen, especially when it works well and you interrupt a lot of survivors, but you require game sense and good timing in order to do that. Pig is also a great user of Hex plaything, and the blindness status effect combines really well as you will hide the location of their totems. The Plague, the Oni and Meyer somewhat can use ultimate weapon very well, as their power is time limited, and sometimes survivors will try their best at hiding. With ultimate weapon, you can force them to reveal their location and catch them with your powers. In fact, with the Plague and the Oni, you can replace Lethal Pursuer in the early game, something you cannot do with Myers since he lacks a terror radius. Obviously, Huntress and the Trickster can use this perk really well, since you will naturally open lockers in order to reload your power. However, I personally prefer the perk Darkness Revealed, even if it's not as consistent as I like the fact that survivors don't know that I know their location. And finally, the Doctor can be extremely devastating with a skill check build, as you can make survivors constantly scream with both your power and with the ultimate weapon. If you combine Merciless Storm with it, you can force survivors to miss the skill checks and explode the generators, and if you are a fan of screaming, you can basically annoy them constantly and have double the static blasts. Ultimate weapon is by no means a weak perk. I would argue it is one of the best, if not the best tracking perk behavior has ever released, only revealed by Lethal Pursuer, since I believe that no perk in the game has as many synergies as Lethal. And the best part is that if at some point Ultimate Weapon becomes an overused perk like Windows of Opportunity, it would still not be overpowered an absolute meta because survivors can run Calm Spirit and render the killer with one less perk in his arsenal. So does this perk need a nerf? In my personal opinion, maybe a slightly longer cooldown is something I am okay with, but butchering it would be too much. Instead, they would need to buff other aura reading perks. This perk invalidates a lot of aura reading perks from being useful, like Twack, Darkness Revealed, or Awakened Awareness. Ultimate Weapon is a different take on tracking perks, perks that in my opinion are very balanced simply because survivors have no answer against it, this answer being distortion. 
of the record or shadow step. My only problem with this perk is tied to my issue with the monetization of the game, as Ultimate Weapon is a licensed perk that will take some time to be released in the scam of secrets, but luckily Calm Spirit is a free perk, so unlike Lethal Pursuer, Ultimate Weapon is by no means a perk that is locked behind pay to win sales tactics. The best way to nerf Ultimate Weapon would be to make Calm Spirit a more attractive choice for survivors, as right now it's pretty useless and a trash perk unless you are playing with Doctor, and also it promotes a very boring playstyle. And in fact, I would argue that if Ultimate Weapon is a problem, it is only because killers like Blight and Nurse exist and they can capitalize on it, by which point it's more of a killer's fault rather than the perk itself. Let me know what you think about this perk that is slowly becoming one of my favorite ones. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.